Okay, welcome to another one of our lessons, which is hopefully going to help you today to convert between fractions, decimals and percentages. We've done a lot of work on this one, we've done a lot of work on fractions, but did you know that actually any fraction can also be written as a decimal and a percentage? And they're sort of like cousins in a way, we write them as the same, they go together, a bit like our fraction families. The first thing that we need to really understand is that this word here, percent, and percent literally means out of 100. If we think about this part of the word, cent, we think about a century being 100 years, or a centurion having 100 men in its army. So per means out of, and cent means 100. And if we can change our fractions so that always out of 100, it's going to make it really easy for us. If I give you a nice straightforward one, for example, if I said that I had a fraction that looked like this, 30 one hundredths, you can already tell me that actually my fraction's got a denominator of 100 already. I don't need to do anything of it. And if percent literally means out of 100, well, how many have I got out of 100? I've got 30. So I can say that 30 over 100 is the same as 30%. We know that fractions aren't quite whole numbers. They're parts of something whole. So as a decimal, it's going to be zero, because it's not quite whole, 0 0.30. Or we could just say... 0.3. Now that one was so easy, everybody, because our denominator, our fractions, already out of 100. But sometimes we might get fractions that aren't out of 100. So let me show you, imagine if I had this one. Imagine if I had 40 over 50, 40 fiftieths. Now, I know the percent means out of 100, so let's change my fraction so it's out of 100. Let's give it a denominator of 100. Now, how have I done that? How have I got from 50 to 100? This is where we need to use our equivalent fractions and our times tables knowledge. I know that actually all I've done is I've multiplied the denominator by 2. So, I'm going to do exactly the same to my numerator. Multiply it by 2 in this occasion. 40 times 2 is 80. And all of a sudden, I've got a fraction that's out of 100. Percent means out of 100 as well, as we've already explained. So it must just be 80%. And as a decimal, it's 0 0.80. Or we can just say in this occasion, 0 0.8. You might have to find some harder fractions to convert, but it's really important that we remember, let's get our fractions so it's got a denominator of 100. Okay, good luck.